Hello everybody, this is Janice. Today I am making a baby shower. I have two people I know who have had babies recently and we're doing um, a diaper drive for one of them and I thought I would make a card to go along with the gift of diapers. And so I got this little image here from the baby shower cartridge and I cut it at three and a half inches and I'll show you what else I did to it. Um, let me get the pieces here. Okay, to put it together, it's just two layers. And I started out by using black soot just to very lightly, very, very lightly ink the itch edges up for it to stand it out against the pattern paper that I have chosen. And we don't need to do this part because go ahead and do, yeah, that's good, and then the bottom. Just going to add a little bit to the rocker part. And I don't have the book to the cartridge. My friend Arlene actually bought it and she just let me load it onto my gypsy just because she wanted to. So that was nice of her. Thank you, Arlene. And then this is the part that uh, goes on top the layer. And so I just wanted to do the bottom again just so it stands out against the pattern paper. Okay, and so this is going to get layered right here. Now this is the piece that I'm also going to stamp on. And I'm going to use a little stamping pad just a piece of fun foam, thick fun foam, and archival ink in case it gets wet or anything. This is permanent. I'm going to the hospital as soon as I'm, you know what, I just messed that one up. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to finish this video and then I'm going to get in the car and go get some diapers and go see the new little baby boy. She's one of the moms of the students at her school. Okay, so this is a stamp. Congratulations is a stamp from a Stampin' Up! set that I inherited from a friend who inherited them and she shared them with me. So I like that big <clears throat> congratulations. And then I'm just going to put some ATG on the back and, AT and ad adhere it to this layer. Okay, and then this is some trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby yesterday. These were 50% off. And there were two I was looking at. This one had the most. This one's 12 feet. <clears throat> so I'm just going to add that little layer there. And I'm going to use ATG for this. Put a little bit on the back as well. to the Brevard Zoo yesterday with my son for our Friday field trip and we took a little trip into Hobby Lobby after when we were done. So I picked those up and then I picked up, wait till you see the teeny tiny buttons I found and they were not on sale, they were $1.99 but I just love how tiny they are. And then I'm adding some glossy accents, just a bead of glossy accents, so I could use my um, bling mesh. And just cut a strip, and then there's a little bit, one little one hanging off the edge here. So we'll go ahead and trim that one off. 
And there we have a nice blingy little baby cradle. And then we're going to need the um, glossy accents again. What I did was I tied a little tiny bow with some sheer ribbon. And I added a little bit of glossy accents and then adhered this micro mini round primary buttons from Hobby Lobby. And again, these were not on sale, but you could use your coupon. My coupon was strapped inside my phone that was dead. So that was unfortunate. And I, I said it with a really sad voice to the cashier to see if maybe she had a coupon. Sometimes at Michael's, you know, they have a coupon back there and they'll let you use it. No, she had no sympathy on me. I gave her a sad face and everything, and she just was like, so sad, too bad, too sad. So, um, yeah, so I just added that little yellow button to that. I wonder if blue would have been better. I don't know, but it's already attached, so I'm not going back. And that's got to dry, so we'll put that aside. And then I've got my two layers here, and I used my paper tray ink paper for this card, which is just an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And all I do is cut it in half. Out a little bit so you can see. So you just, five and a half is half of 11. So I go to five and a half right here and then just cut and now we've got two cards and then with my little score buddy I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter I love that it has a little mark there that shows you exactly where you need to score This piece here is four by five and a quarter because our card is um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And so this next layer is just a quarter inch smaller. So it's four by five and a quarter. And this blue is the same blue that I used on the baby cradle. And it came from a recollections pack that has all blues in it. I'm not sure which one it is. And then this came from a Martha Stewart pack that looks like birthday paper to me. That just totally looks like baby to me, these straight, these polka dots. Okay, and then finish it off, I have an action wobble, and it's going to be too big, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. I want it to be right in the middle, otherwise if you try to put it over here or over here, it just doesn't wobble evenly. Oh, and then I also need to make sure that the spring part is not going over. See, because that's going to show, so I need to move it down more. Because we don't want to see the, the spring. So yeah, that's it. And then all I'm going to do is trim off the excess. plastic is showing but it is clear so not too big of a deal and there we have it and then the inside is white so I could just write inside of it 
and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.